previous video, we talked about chi-squared test association. And we said that we we're going to get the expected cell counts by doing row total times column total divided by the total in the sample size. And that's the expected cell count under the null hypothesis. But I don't want you to wonder why we do that. I want to explain why we do that. So the whole basis of why we do row total times column total divided by total in the data set, this whole basis is from just like the first day of probability practically, we learned that if A and B are two independent events, then the probability of A and B happening equals the probability of A happening times the probability of B happening. So that's what all of this is going to be based on. All right, so first step, we look at our row and total, row and column totals, and we're going to use those to estimate things like the probability that a student smokes, the probability that both of the student's parents smoke, and so on. So if we want to calculate the probability that a student smokes, we just look at the total number of students that smoke divided by the number of students surveyed. So 1,004 divided by 5,375. Similarly, if we want to figure out what's the probability that um, both, of a parent, both of the student's parents smoke, we would take 1,780 and divide by 5,375. All right, so now we've got the probability that a student smokes and the probability that both parents smoke. All right, so now we're going to use this fact that if A and B are independent, probability of A intersect B equals probability of A times the probability of B. So here the null hypothesis is there's no association. In other words, whether a student smokes and whether, for example, both parents smoke, those two things are independent. All right, so if that null hypothesis is true, which we are assuming is true, then the probability that a student smokes intersected with both parents smoking is simply the probability that a student smokes times the probability that both parents smoke. So we already figured out these two probabilities. Just plug them in. So we've got 1,004 over 5,375 times 1,780 over 5,375. All right, so now we know the probability of this particular cell, but we don't need the probability of the cell. We need the expected cell count. So we can just think of this as like a multinomial distribution. And so we know the probability of this cell count. Sorry, we know the probability of the cell, and we know the total sample size, which is 5375. So we can just take 5375 times the probability of landing in this cell, and that will give us our expected cell count. So. We've got 5375 times the probability for that cell, which is 1,004 over 5375 times 1,780 over 5375. And now we can see conveniently that the 5375s cancel a little bit, and so we end up with 1,004 times 1,780 divided by 5375. So in other words, we've got row total times column total divided by the total in the sample size, and that's our expected cell count.